for a number of years now, especially uh, your time running with Few Music Group. Yeah. Um, but give us a little uh, clues in on, on how you got started. Are you originally from from Atone? Uh, myself, no, I was, uh, well, I was raised here, but I'm bo I was born in Houston, Houston, Texas. Oh, word. Yeah, but I like uh, I've been here most of my life. Been um went to school like pretty much the middle school. That's when I had met minus, and then from there we got a group together called Genotype, and then we started doing cover shows and stuff like that, and it just went on from there. And here, here we are. <laughs> middle school. What middle school? I went to Wheatley Middle School. Oh word! Yeah, and and Jeff Davis. I went school. to like middle, pretty. I went to like pretty much a number of middle schools, but yeah, Wheatley was like pretty much like the middle school that I went to. So okay, shout out to Wheatley Middle School. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think one. I think it's the Young Men's Leadership Academy now. Yeah, they changed it. Yeah, Man. too bad, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> everything got to change sometimes. I guess. Sure. Yeah. These are still getting used to the building too, because they yeah. will easily let that go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Man. So, uh, what, what year was the group that y'all y'all formed? Uh, that was like in ninety two, I think it was ninety three. Word. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a good good while. Yeah. Now was that uh, with Xavier's Academy, huh? or the, did that come afterwards? Because I know Minus was he had Xavier's Academy. For oh a while. yeah, that I was, don't know uh, if that was yeah that was bef that was after that yeah that was after because. Yeah, that was pretty much like after we had got all everything. Like that was after all the genotype and all that stuff. That's when we had got like Macaw Crew. Yes, around Macaw Crew time. Yes. So, yeah. So you got you kind of ruined some of the history too, baby. Just a, a little tiny right. bit. <laughs> Man, so uh, from Macaw Crew, when was that formed? How long did that last before? Ooh, Makai was formed, I, I want to say, like, 90, ooh, 95, 96, <laughs> and then it's, like, groups that had came from there, like, my well, my cousin, uh, same difference. Yeah. Um, My other homeboy, uh, Buck, well, we had our group, that was Hybrid Hexes, mm -hmm. and um, it was, what, Grund and Gruff, my homeboy, uh, Trey, well, virus, and you got enough said, and pretty much like outside of the outside of that, it was uh, mad one and third dimension and all of them boys. So, right. Yeah, it's like a lot. It's, it's, it's a lot to a lot to put out there right now. I mean, it's yeah. Man, I'm getting some history right now. Oh uh, yeah. So uh, from all of that. <laughs> When did everyone just kind of, uh, God, it's kind of hard to say, um, few music, when was that finally kind of tweaked and everything put together that way? Because, like I said, that's a whole rotating. Yes, uh, well, a well, few, it's, well, it started maybe like, i say after everybody kind of like went their own ways. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... Well, people went their own way, but we all came together as few and put music into the few, into the few names. So yeah, but I mean, we still like do stuff together and stuff. But mm -hmm. it's just people like just on like we just on our own thing. Like we just trying to do our own thing instead of like the group. Like not normally like as a group thing, but individual. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, we just trying to get that other stuff trying to get that old thing going, so. Yeah, and you guys definitely had your own unique sound. Yes. Which I was know. great. When you heard them, you knew like, you sound. knew, yeah. you knew who it was. And still to this day, mm -hmm. as yeah. well. We try, to, we try to have that, we try to put that, well, keep that so people know who we are, so that, you know what I'm saying, name will never, so the name will never fade, so yeah. So what made you get into music to begin with? No, what what was your motivation? Even way back then. Well, my like, motivation. Uh, I used to just see people. I used to see people around and stuff, and it was just something that I really wanted to do. And I had a little like my little homeboy that I went to school with. I had well, 
Well, I, when I was in genotype, when he was in the group genotype with me, well, he he taught me how to rhyme pretty much. I don't know if, like, if there's a thing being taught how to rhyme, but yeah, he pretty much like taught me. I picked it up from him, and then mm -hmm. after that, I just ran off with it, picked it up, and zoom zoom, here we go. Was he one of your first, uh, I guess, influences as far as uh, hip hop yeah. goes? Yeah. Pretty much, because he was like, he was pretty much the one, like, well, we was always together, and he was always, like, rhyme and stuff, so I was like, yeah, picked it up, and that's when we got the group together and stuff, and been doing it ever since. Been, like, 30-plus years now, so. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, I guess uh, the penmanship has uh, definitely improved. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, yeah, but since then, yeah. Oh, yeah, got to, everything got to improve, man. Not just only him, uh, any other uh, influences within San Antonio or even wherever? Uh, you know, starting out. I say, like, I got a, well, few rappers that I like. I like Nas. I'm on, well, well I'm on, who I'm on really now is like, uh, I kind of, I'm, I'm on like a uh, Royce the 5'9 right now. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but I mean, it's a pretty, it's, it's, it's a lot out there that I, that I, that I listen to, but pretty much, it's, Pretty much them two boys right now, mm -hmm. Nas and Nas and Roy. So, how's the um? Th that's what I haven't did. I haven't checked out the King's Disease Three for some strange reason. No, I did not check that out yet. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Solid. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> as, as well as the other two. Yeah, Plus Magic I mean, as well? yeah. Well, Magic, Magic. Yeah, it's probably it's up there. Yeah, it's in there. <laughs> yeah, I can say. <laughs> Yeah, whatever, pretty much whatever that boy put out is pretty, pretty much dope, though. I mean, but, yeah. I'm trying to remember the his show at Madison Square Garden. I wonder if the N1 tape it and was going to um, broadcast it or not. Because I heard it was, uh, from what I've seen, packed. Yeah, no, I have no packed. idea. I have no idea about that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, he brought out AZ and he brought out uh, Slick Rick. Yeah, I heard, yeah. Man, that's gonna be a show. Not hey, uh, ready to get into some music? Oh yeah, let's go. All right, hey y'all, stay tuned. We've got music coming up. Uh, brand new music from Great God plus Sun Gods. Shouts out to Evolve and Ivy Hustles. Yes. Who apparently killed it when they were here? Nah. Oh, shouts out to Mike Mill as well on stage with them. Oh man, <laughs> I, I hate that we weren't able to make it. That's okay though. That's all right. Hey y'all, stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna get into a track from B Hop featuring. Mad One himself. This is Triggered Off. Hey, y'all, don't go anywhere. More coming up. This is the Urban Suite KSYM, San Antonio College Radio. Yeah. 